Peace and love to the spirits of this earth. How are you all doing? I'm doing so great. This is Golden Spiritual Teacher right here. And we are evolving every single day. We don't stop growing. Yes, life is beautiful. Especially when the sun shines on me. It feels good. Especially here in this winter time, you know. And hearing these ducks and chickens all these birds you know it feels good so it's very important for one to be in nature so today i want to talk about devotion devotion and bhakti yoga what is this people you know talk about yoga but there are so many parts of yoga it's not only one part of yoga yoga means union so i made lives about yoga that can be found on my youtube page golden spiritual teacher so now devotion what is devotion and bhakti yoga it's all love it's all love either you sing pray dance whatever you do or you cook food you clean up your garden it's all interconnected it's presenting the union it's presenting the bhakti yoga and bhakti yoga have three parts of it Bhakti yoga means the union of self. And another is Gyan yoga. Gyan, it's Sanskrit, okay? Sanskrit is one of the most highest, highly vibrational frequency, the language here on earth, okay? So, highest frequency. So, Sanskrit, when we speak on Sanskrit, now, the Sanskrit, Gyan means the knowledge, knowledge yoga, and also the karma. Karma means action. There is karma yoga, okay? So now, when you have the right knowledge of self, that's when you can free yourself from all the pain and suffering, and you can put all the actions, so-called do the good karma during your day. Because when you wake up, when you wake up in the morning, so now you are doing all the actions. Every moment here on earth is yoga. All the breathing that you're breathing, you know, all the techniques. How naturally are you breathing? Are you aware of your breathing? There are so many techniques of our breathing. So now, let, there are so many techniques of the movements. What are you doing during day? Are you doing good action or bad action? Are you doing God, good action or bad action? It's up to you. But when you tap into the devotion of love, when you tap into the bhakti yoga, when you tap into the gyan yoga, means have the right knowledge of self, now you are going to be a servant for others, be a good servant for others. Now you are doing good karmas in life. So the devotion have to come from within the heart itself. So now, the devotion is coming from the pure space where God is, the heart space. So now, when you do all the good things, let's say me, I start my morning by singing mantras. Because it's open up my heart, it opens up me up to be a better person here on earth. It allows me to feel more love it's all about love and love and love and love so when you love that's when you can do the better action so all these three are interconnected here on earth because earth is an school and you are here to learn and grow also you are not only a student but also a master teacher who is giving who is teaching unconsciously unconsciously to the spirits here of uh, here on earth so the union means the yoga to live in the unity of oneself become one with everything and everybody because you can live as righteous as you are here on earth if you know how to balance it how to balance your inner verse first of all you have to understand it's not about the external world or external action whatever it's happening outside of you the most important thing for oneself is to balance the inner self balance your thoughts balance your feelings so that you can feel happy heaven within in yourself so the external world also going to look like it's a heaven this is something bad is happening outside of you so instead of do, saying something uh, lower putting something some lower vibration 
into the external or doing some bad action instead of doing it you have to control your inner world so that you find more balance and peace and harmony within in yourself so that external work cannot distract your internal peace it's so important and this is the ultimate truth about self because when you have balance within the external doesn't matter anymore and the only way to have, find the balance it's also to know that of the gyan you you have to acknowledge the truth about receiving the ultimate knowledge of self that can free you from all the pain and suffering and the ultimate knowledge of self i am giving you that i am giving you that that yoga the yogi knowledge could bring you more harmony and joy and peace more balance in your life there are so many yogis here on earth even you are you given if you are aware of it or not aware of it but what about the movements that you are doing during day is it with love or hate the action the voice the speech that you are putting the vibration that you are sending to the consciousness of oneself because whenever you say something you are not only telling me that you are not only telling telling that dog outside no you were putting out that vibrational frequency and it's creating your aura your action your thought your words creating your aura so when it comes to devotion i start my day to cleanse my aura i start my day by chanting mantras so that i have a open heart so that i have a purified mind because when i chant for half an hour only on gayatri mantra it rises me high to higher frequency when i chant the yogi's mantra it balances me so that i can become more strong through meditation and yoga so now there is a natural rhythm here on earth and there is a routine that you are here to reprogram in your subconscious mind every day even if it's for 5 minutes what are you doing for god what are you doing for something that is so impermanent within you you are so busy with your body to decorate it with fancy stuff like fancy clothes fancy house cars all this you know process foods that is so expensive you know killing all the animals from our destroying the nature to really decorate yourself and your body but it's so impermanent who who you are here to show are you showing yourself is not healthy for you all who are doing this kind of stuff how much work are you doing for something that is so permanent it's your soul how much work are you doing for the earth that you are in you see everything is everything is so temporary and what's permanent how much are you doing your work for the permanent thing that you are you're decorating yourself you you are working so hard to get all the materialistic needs done but what about your inner self what about your inner world anything that i see external everything i am perceiving it with my mind my feelings from my thoughts i am getting my emotions so now all these are running my life once i am in balance nothing external can really put me in danger nothing external can really make me feel in certain way make me to suffer no it can't do that because i am balanced within so the devotion and the bhakti yoga it's so important to tap into yoga and is that yoga it doesn't mean that you have to you know stand on a yoga mat and do your yoga every morning you know exercise or somebody wants to get skinny and they exercise you know it's like no yoga is a life yoga is a life that means union of self the true self union with your true self the higher self everybody that is ev- everywhere it's the reflection of your inner versus the reflection of your mind it's you you are reflecting it's the it's your mirror i see the world as my inner verse i see everybody as a mirror when i look into into the mirror i see myself when i look into a person i still i am still seeing myself You got to let go of your judgments. You got to let go of all of your bad habits. You got to become that pure soul that you are because this is who you are. 
Do you know our inner sound that is always giving us that ultimate sound is the Om. How many times are you chanting on it to cleanse yourself? There are so many demonic thoughts that created lots of demonic energy. So now, so-called demon. Demon means it's just lower thought, not, not a ghost that's going to come and eat you up. Your mental health going to eat you up slowly, seriously. This is the ultimate truth. Your emotional body going to eat you up slowly. Because um, late at night, within in your mind and body, who, who is it there? It's you alone. When you go outside, there are a few friends that you can talk about, but can they give you peace of mind? No. Only you yourself can bring yourself to the ultimate state of God. Only you yourself can give you that pleasurement of life. Pleasurement. Do you know how it feels to feel the ultimate joy in your heart? It feels good. Do you know when you smile without any reason, you are just happy without any fear? Some people, they think like, oh, if I laugh a lot, some bad is going to happen to me. You have to balance that out. You have to balance your inner world. That's all you need. The yoga is life. Know about yoga. Gain the knowledge of self. I'm giving you the knowledge of self. There are so many highly spiritual masters are giving you the knowledge of self. Because we have the knowledge and we are sharing it. Even you have the right knowledge. But how much, how much are you studying yourself to get the knowledge? What is, what is to... How is it to live like a yogi? Many people, they say, well, I'm a yogi. But are they really a yogi? What are, look at their lifestyle. If you just look into their lifestyle, that's when you will know how much they are in it. Being a yogi, just a simple life where you don't, you don't need no shoes, you know. You are okay with one cloth. You're okay with all these natural foods that is freely given by nature. You know, you don't need all this you know, man-made foods, everything that is God-made, connected to the sun, drinking the purest water deepest from, from the deepest, from the earth, cooking foods with this, look, make fire with these leaves. I collected them from, uh, from under a tree and make fire and cook, cook food. Really simple because when you cook your food in a high temper and it's not even fire with electricity, that, that food is dead. It's not going to give you any kind of information that you need because God put all the information in the water. It put all the information within you. So when you consume that, when you consume anything here on earth came, coming from the trees, it carries lots of information, the messages that you can receive through your DNA consciousness. There is also DMT consciousness. What about that? Uh, to activate the DMT consciousness, you don't need big things. All you need to do is just live in nature where it is green, breathing in the fresh oxygen, the prana. The vital energy is more subtle than what you know. But we will come to it later. Living a simple life is really... Look at my coconut. This water carry lots of information that I'm here to receive. So now that I'm drinking it. It's sweet. It's sweet because it's given by God. It's healthy. It's going to purify my body. And I'm going to have more clarity within my mind. It's not going to give me any sickness. I didn't been in doctor for over six years. Because I'm connected to what's God made. Eating cooked food. Making my own fire. Cooking my own food. In a clay pot. In a clay pot. It's natural. I'm having all my nutrition. But... It's also, all these are connected to yoga. You all wants to know what yoga, this is all yoga. Whatever I'm saying, it is that. My lifestyle, what I am in it, the things that I am doing. Yes, everybody wants to be perfect, you know. But we have to realize that we are not perfect in this human form. No, but the soul is perfect. This body have its own experiences. By even knowing that it's yoga. You are having yoga lesson with me right here by just listening to me. Because I'm activating so many parts within in you. I exist within you. Do you think that you are seeing me in your phone? No. Without your light, there shall be no phones. There shall be no battery. There shall be no light. Because you are the greatest light and I am you. 
I'm existing within your body. We are the center of every other thing. It's just that God in trillions of pieces. The entire ocean is you. And I'm speaking to myself. This is what I am doing. There is no separation. To really live into this one consciousness of self, you need to tap into the yoga. Bhakti yoga. Karma yoga. Gyan yoga. There is yoga of knowledge. Yes, I'm speaking about it. There is yoga of knowledge. Action. There is yoga of action. It's so simple. And there are limbs in the yoga too. Eight limbs that can liberate you to the ultimate consciousness of self if you can follow that. And I'm giving you part to part to part in all of my lives and videos. This is what I am sharing. This is what I'm sharing. You don't need to stand in a mat to do yoga. Yoga is life. In everyday life, you have to have the right knowledge to know, to put it in action in your daily life. Being a vegan, it's yoga. Or vegetarian, it's yoga. Taking care of nature, it's yoga. Living, sitting under a tree, it's a yoga. Breathing consciously, it's yoga. It's meditation. It's so powerful. So this is what I'm saying. Tune into love. Tune into love. Once you tune into self-love, that's when you will tune into the love. Love is not what's between men and women or, or the relationship or partnership. No. Love is everywhere. Love is everything. Even I am love. love. You are love. We are all loves. So this is what I'm sharing. That's why. Tune into Tune into devotion, tune into bhakti yoga, tune into yen yoga, tune into karma yoga. This is all matter. Then slowly but surely you will find so much more of yoga, hatha yoga, kundalini yoga. You see? There are so much more parts of yoga, not only, but you can choose what suits you the best. Even kundalini yoga is hatha yoga. But knowing the structures of the body movements, you know, aligning the body with the co cosmic geometry, the movements. When I stand on a mat, yoga mat, and then I do movements with my body, different geometry, shape and form, I take, yes, this is how I become more stronger physically, mentally. I, I also, at the same time, cleansing my aura. There are so many negative energy that you can tune into. As soon as you come to a person with lots of negative thinking, negative consciousness, that they are vibrating in the lower vibrational frequency, they are, they are into lower room. When you are just, you don't even have to touch them. It's so important for you all to know. You don't even have to touch that person to exchange the energy because you are sending lights. Once you are into my presence, I am giving you, I am charging you up with my lights that is coming out of my chakras. And you are doing the same, but there are so many suppers. They cannot create their own energy, so they, they are going to charge up. They charge up with your light, and then you will come home with no energy at all. That's why when I sit and meditate, when I chant, when I do my geometry shape, that's when I am charging myself. Well, I am on the sunlight, grounded, speaking to you all. I am sending and receiving the ultimate energy, the light. These two human, human eyes don't see everything. They're seeing this third room, but what about the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh room? All these dimensions are existing right here. The Milky Galaxy is right here. You don't have to travel somewhere. It's exactly right here. It's within you. It's all you. You can travel place to place, planet to planet, anytime that you want to, but you have to master yourself to do that. And the people who are conscious about it, people who get this thought current, yes, you are having the right thought current because you are the chosen one. You are the chosen one. Not, ev not everybody here on earth came here to wake up like, as a conscious being. You see? Some of the soul have to go through many, many lives till they become 
conscious about thyself. Look how happily they are playing. They are grounded. They are happy. They are joyful without any materialistic needs. Because they know that they are here for a reason. And Mother Nature, God is taking care of them. God is in me. God is in you. We are one. So this is why. If you want to find more information, please check on my YouTube page, Golden Spiritual Teacher. And also I'm giving out angel reading by donation, energy reading by donation. Message me on my messenger, whoever wants an angel reading or energy reading. I will give you that. It's extremely powerful and it's extremely, extremely, extremely eye-opening. All right. And also at the same time, also at the same time, it will make you a better person. Because once you tune into me and we align with each other and connect with each other's energy, there are angels, there are spirits that are going to come to your space and going to help you with all the things. And things will change. Things just will change no matter what. Because... Many people need the change, better change. So you cannot say no to the things that you really need to let go of. And I will tell you that. If the angel require me to tell you that I will. Past, present and future, if they reveal to us, we can. It's extremely powerful. So please send me, send me your info on Messenger. I will give you much more info what I need to do that. And also stay kind, stay kind to yourself and everybody that is around you. Open up your heart to love and compassion. This is the only way. This is the only way. I tell you that. This is the only way. So if you want me to enter to your space, please connect with me. I'm here to give you all the information that you need. Much love. Please share this video. Namaste.